Sa bawat pag-ikot ng oras, ay siya rin pag-ikot ng mundo. Sinusukat nito ang bawat kabiguan o tagumpay ng tao. Pero marami pa rin ang tila hindi binibigyang pansin o halaga ang oras. Marami ang nasasayang na panahon at pagkakataon. Mga bagay na hindi na muling maibabalik pa. Sino nga ba sa atin ang binitigyan ng importansya ang usaping pinansyal o pananalapi kung saan nakasalalay ang ating kinabukasan? Maging mga pangarap ng ating pamilya, empleyado ka man o hindi, sa oras ng iyong pagreretiro, mangangailangan ka ng mga benepisyo mula sa ating pinagpaguran at pinaghandaan. Aasa tayo sa ating social security, pension at malaking ipon. Kung hindi, para itong isang bangungot na ikakabahala natin. Ang kwento ni Melay at Sonia sa lamin din ng pinagdadaanan ng maraming Pilipino. Simpleng may bahay si Melay, 48 years old, at sampung taon na sa pagkakarindiriya. Mula noon, nagtabi siya ng 67 pesos kada araw. At makalipas ang sampung taon, nakapag-ipon si Aling Melay ng 420,740 pesos. Masipag, matipid at masinok si Melay. Inilaan ni Melay ang kanyang naipon sa tamang pag invest kumuha ng long-term care, life insurance at educational savings para sa kanyang tatlong anak. At nahikayat din bumili ng share sa stocks at mutual funds. Ang 2,000 pesos na kada buwan sa mutual funds ni Melay ay lalago ng 11 million pesos pagkalipas ng 35 years para daw ito sa kinabukasan ng kanyang pamilya. Nakabili na rin siya ng pampasadang tricycle para sa kanyang mister. So, nung nawalaan yung trabaho ng asawa ko, eh, may kunting naipon man ako, kaya nagluluto na lang ako, ako sa karinderya. Sa awa ko ng Diyos, eh, okay naman ang kita niya. May nag-alok po sa akin ng Kaiser para po maganda daw yun sa kinabukasan po namin. Natatakot po ako kasi baka masayang po ang pinagpaguran ko. Kaya po nag-imbis ako ng tama. Nabibili naman ni Sonia ang lahat ng kanyang luho at lahat ng hilingin ng tatlong anak, lalo na noong siya ay nasa ibang bansa pa. Dating caregiver sa Middle East, ang 50 anyos na si Sonia, isa siyang solong ina. Binigay ko yung gusto ng mga anak ko, kung anong bago, lahat meron sila. Hindi ko naisip mag-invest sa life insurance or healthcare kasi hindi naman pumasok sa isipan ko. Kahit maraming gastos noon, nakakapagtabi si Sonia ng 70,000 pesos kada buwan o halos 840,000 pesos kada taon. Sa loob ng limang taon, nakapag-save si Sonia ng 4.2 million pesos. Nagpagawa ng bahay at bumili ng magarang sa sakyan. Pero hindi naisip ni Sonia ang mag-invest sa insurance, mutual funds at iba pang produkto na sisiguro sa kanilang future o kinabukasan. Natatakot ako at hindi ako nakapag-invest sa life insurance at unti-unti nang nauubos ang mga naipon ko. Dalawang taon nang nasa Pilipinas si Sonia. Pero hanggang ngayon, wala pa siyang kontrata palabas ng bansa. Unti-unti na rin nauubos ang savings niya sa bangko. Sa mga ganitong sitwasyon, kailangan natin ng mga taong magtuturo ng paraan na makaahon at magkaroon ng bagong pagkakataon. Gagabay sa mga desisyon, lalo na sa usaping pinansyal. Mapagkakatiwalaan at may integridad. Ang International Marketing Group o IMG ay eksperto sa usaping ito. Isang independent company na may mga produktong tutulong sa bawat Pilipino na dumarana sa hirap ng buhay. Pilipinong gustong makawala sa utang at maging financially secure. In terms of investment and savings, the most important ally would be time. So in investment, savings, the most important thing is time. Because a lot of small money eventually become big. But no matter how big the money is, if you don't have the time, it will never grow. If you let time pass by without saving money, then you will lose 
not only the money itself, but the future of what money can bring to you. The longer the time you need, the less money you need to invest to reach your financial goals. But the shorter the time you have, then the more money you need to invest to reach your financial goals. Nais ng IMG na ibahagi sa mga Pilipino ang mga estratehiya at mahahalagang hakbang para matutong makapag-ipon at iwanan ang pagwawaldas o pagsasayang ng oras sa mga pansamantala at panandaliang bagay. Tutulungan ka ng IMG na pagandahin ang takbo ng iyong pananalapi. Siguraduhin may sapat na proteksyon gaya ng pagkakaroon ng insurance, pagkakaroon ng emergency funds o savings na tatlong buwan na income. In-manage ang mga utang at makakawala dito at magsimula na makapag-ipon ng pangmatagalan. Anong direksyon ang tatahakin mo? Magsasayang ka pa ba ng oras o panahon? Kailan ka kikilos? Palilipasin mo bang muli ang napakabilis na takbo ng oras? At posibleng ang tamang oras para makapagsimula ay oras na tumatakbo na ngayon. Alright, good afternoon everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, can, am I audible? Okay, alright, thank you. So um, welcome everyone to our free financial literacy class. And um, as early as now, we would like to thank everyone. Okay, again, please rename, kindly rename your devices and share, uh, share your email addresses and contact numbers no, to the person who invited you today. So um, let me check first our participants. Shout out to our 19 million viewers tonight, today. <laughs> okay, so everyone can hear me clearly. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now to start with, um, let's pray the true millionaire's prayer by Brother Bo Sanchez. If you're a Catholic, or you can do the sign of the cross. Then the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now today I ask you to bless me so that I may become a blessing. Lord, I commit myself to enrich others. But because I cannot give what I do not have, I commit myself to become rich. I commit myself to serve you and to serve the poor with my wealth. Today, I open myself to the abundance of your universe. Use me as your channel of love. Give me the ability to create wealth that will bless the world. Increase my financial wisdom and expand my territories. I place my life in your hands. Amen. Okay. So welcome everyone again, and I hope that everyone is uh, safe and healthy to today. And thank you really for finding time and joining today's um, financial literacy class. Um, and I know that you're all busy, so really, really thank you for taking this time. And I am confident that your time today will be very worth it. All right. So um, I want to start by asking everyone, no, um, has anyone of you heard of the sin of the desert? Okay. Some of you might have heard of this. Now, what is the sin of the desert? Now, the sin of the desert is knowing where the oasis is, but not telling others. So in a desert, uh, you know where the water location is, but you did not tell others. That is why I am here to tell and share the great news that I have learned myself. And hopefully, um, once you get to learn from today's session, you will never commit the sin of the desert and that you all will share this amazing learning that you will have today. Now, allow me first to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Mark Nunez Dorniado. I am an IMG Marketing Director and a Financial Advocate. I am also an investor and entrepreneur, and I am an HR practitioner in the BPO and shared services industry. So again, I hope, that, I hope and I'm positive that by the end of today's session, you will learn things and commit to putting these learnings into actions. Okay, now I would like to congratulate every one of you. Congratulations for being a part of our campaign 30M by 30. Now this means, this campaign means that 30 million Filipinos by the year 2030 who are financial 
financially educated. Yes, you heard that right. 30 million Filipinos by year 2030. That is why, please, please, please give out your email addresses and contact numbers to the person who invited you today. Now, right after the session, please reach out to the person again who invited you. And um, your participation tonight, today gives you a chance to win an iPad on our convention by late uh, by the last quarter of this year. So again, thank you so much as early as now for being a part of our 30M by 30 financial literacy campaign. Okay. Now, um, this is actually the book that we will be having a study on today. Okay. I'm sure that you have heard or known this good-looking guy over here, right? He is Brother Bo Sanchez, okay? Now, Brother Bo Sanchez, as most of you know, is a best-selling author. He is an entrepreneur, and he is known as the preacher in blue jeans. Now, let me read, allow me to read this foreword from Brother Bo Sanchez. Friend, this book is your ticket to upgrading your financial life. Read it, devour it, and share it with people who need a financial revolution in their life. Now, so for today, um, we will share the secret to saving and building your future. And at the end of today's session, the secret to saving and building your future will no longer become a secret. Of course, you would know it, okay? We're not selfish enough not to share this great news to everyone. Okay, all right. Now, anyone, who or what is IMG or International Mar Marketing Group? So, sa video earlier, nakita naman natin this is about IMG, International Marketing Group, with its financial advocacy, okay? Now, IMG is a community of people, okay? It's a community of people with a mission of helping create wealth for families and making a difference for families so that no family will be left behind. Now, IMG is a com company that educates people on how to build that solid financial foundation. Okay, It educates people on personal finance. In fact, um, as mentioned earlier, we have this global bold campaign for financial literacy. Okay, And you know what? It does not just limit on educating people, no? But also IMG is our one-stop shop for all of our financial needs. Okay, Because it has partnered with established financial institutions from healthcare, um, life and non-life insurance, uh, investments and mutual funds, and a lot more, okay? Ag again, IMG is not a networking company, never a networking company, not an insurance company, not an investment company, but IMG is a company who has partnerships with established companies, okay? Now, let's start now, but before um, we start, uh, allow me first to talk briefly on a challenging future. Now, we are all aware, man, that um, every day is challenging for us. But what's most important no, is for us to understand that there is indeed such thing as a challenging future. And a large number of Filipinos will definitely face these increasing challenges in four major areas. As you can see, an uncertain labor market, low savings and high debt, high cost of education, and increasing cost of living. Okay, so I'm um, requesting everyone not to place yourselves on mute so that others can focus on, on today's session. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so let's start. Now, for this, for this um, slide, you can see there, there are machines, no? Machines, automation, all right? Now, with the help of artificial intelligence or AI, as most of you know, okay? Now, what does this mean? An uncertain labor market. What does this mean? Okay, This means that we really cannot tell what's going to happen with our jobs right now or if we still get to keep our jobs. Because again, as years pass by and with the advent of technology, the labor market prefers to have automation over manual work. Are you certain that with your job right now, you still get that assurance of keeping it? Or if you get to keep it, until when? Think of it. Second challenging future, low savings and high debt. Now, this has a major impact on retirement. Yes, you're correct. Many people no, may have to work beyond 60 or 65 years of age to survive. 
And it's a sad reality, most especially here in the Philippines. And um, I, I can see that some of you here are from the BPO industry. This is quite evident, especially in the BPO industry, because regardless of your age, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Regardless of your age, so long as you can speak in English, then you can still work. When I was a former supervisor in a BPO, I have met and known people who are too old already, yet they are still working. Okay, and when I spoke with actually one of my agents, he told me his name was Jeff. Okay, he told me that he needs to work for him to have that income, for money to help him and his family, for him to provide food in their table. That's a sad reality. At the age of 62, Jeff was still working in the BPO. Would it not be a better feeling that when we grow old, we can just relax and enjoy our lives? Spend quality time with our family and loved ones rather than just working so hard for us to survive. Think of it, okay? Think clearly of it. Now, the third challenging future, education, high cost of education. As we all know, education is the most popular weapon which we can use to change the world. Sabi nga ni mama sa examen, magkakapatid, lima kami, sabi ni mama at papa, Walas lang ibang mapapamana sa amin kundi education. Because we don't have, we're not rich. My mom and my father are not businessmen. We don't have anything except that they believe that education is the key for someone to change the world and become successful. And we're lucky enough, no, to have parents and relatives who are working so hard just for us five siblings to finish college. I just, let me just share this um, story of mine. Um, I can still remember the time when my mama, even how tired she was after um, working as a teacher, <clears throat> she goes home. She prepares a pitcher of juice, pitcher ng juice, and she makes ice candy. Okay? Then during weekends, we help mama make yema, pulvoron, and a lot more things that she can sell while she is um, teaching. Okay? It was never an easy journey. I know that some of you might be sharing the same stories as I do, but again, um, it's never an easy journey for my family. But because we need to finish college, okay, we need to survive daily. It has to be done. That is why knowing that education has a high cost, as well as the lack of preparation for college planning, we need to ensure that we prepare, okay? We plan it out. We prepare because it will hurt the younger generation, okay? It will hurt um, the younger generation. Would you want that to happen to your younger generations? Definitely not, right? Think of it. And lastly, no, um, for a challenging future, increasing cost of living. As you can see there, no, um, you have that 1,000 peso bill. I intentionally place that 1,000 peso bill in that slide for me to ask you this. Saan aabot ang inyong 1,000 pesos nowadays? Is it going to be enough? Can you chat in the chat box? Is 1,000 pesos enough nowadays? Chat, chat, chat. Namina pa ba mo? Hello? Okay, very good. No, 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 no. Definitely hindi siya enough, okay? And if we compare, no? If we compare that same exact amount of 1,000 pesos to 10 years ago, we can tell the huge difference. Now, if 10 years ago, um, our grocery baskets are full, okay, for 1,000 pesos, right now, it's not even half of the grocery basket. We're lucky enough kung meron tayong um, half ng grocery bas basket for 1,000 pesos. Okay? Now, increasing cost of living makes many people, it makes us to have difficulties in saving money for our future needs. Okay? And pag dumating na yung need natin talaga for such um, money, like emergency repair at home, may sakit, tuition, and a lot more in the mga emergencies or mga pangangailangan. And we do not have enough savings. Ano yung only option natin? Our only option, our go-to option is four-letter word, English. Pwedeng Tagalog, correct? Debt, utang. Okay? Utang or debt. Would you just want to go with the flow that we currently have? Na our go-to option is mangutang. 
and let utang control you. Think of it. Really think of it, okay? Now, um, on this next slide, the book highlighted that when it comes to securing and saving for our future, a lot of good people, smart people, and even hardworking people, young and old, regardless no, of your profession, if you're a doctor, a teacher, a farmer, a carpenter, a seaman, an engineer, a call center agent, or whatnot, all of these amazing individuals may end up retiring, no? Retiring without enough savings. No matter how intelligent you are, no matter how hardworking you are, you will end up retiring without enough savings. And just what? We wait for the SSS or GSIS pension, which is how much? 6000 to 8000 per month. And do you think that's even enough for us to say that we are covered? Definitely not. We have to consider that when we grow old, we also have to buy medicines for ourselves, maintenance medicines for some, daily food consumption. And for us Filipinos, no, we also take care of our extended families, even when we're already old, because that is our culture. Okay, I'm not saying it's bad, but we could have done something to address that. We all wanted to become successful, correct? Anyone here in this group, um, in this um, 20 million viewers right now, who doesn't want to succeed, okay? I think everyone here wants to succeed, yes? Can I hear your yeses on the chat box? La delayed, crook, crook. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Of course. Sino ba naman yung gustong magfail? No one. No one wants to fail. But because we did not plan for our future, we may end up failing. Again, because we did not plan for our future, we may end up failing. Why? Why did we not plan for our future? Simple. It's because majority of us lacks financial education. Now, financial education was not taught much at schools and during our younger years. We were in the understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just sharing my own personal experience here, that for us to be financially free, we need to save in banks. But later on, you would know why I would not strongly recommend saving in the bank. Now, some of you might tell me, Mark, I have been attending financial education sessions. I have been reading a lot of books on financial freedom. I have been watching, if you're a millennial, I have been watching YouTube videos on savings and financial education. Great, that's a good move. But are we putting these learnings into actions? Are we practicing what we know? Do we walk the talk? Still, there is a lack of financial education. Now, remember this. If you are invited here, okay, remember that your future is not in the hands of your employers. Because we all worked so hard no, for our future to be dependent on our employers, okay? And it's not even in the hands of the banks, okay? No one else can teach you to become wealthy. Remember that. No one else can teach you to become wealthy. If you want to be wealthy, I want to be wealthy. You need to learn how to do it yourself. DIY. Do it yourself. You cannot expect your employer to make you wealthy. You cannot expect the bank to make you wealthy. You cannot expect your friends to make you wealthy. Again, your future is in your own hands. Let's claim this today, no? So please, please type in the chat box and repeat this by heart. Please type in the chat box, my future is in my hands. Again, please type in the chat box to let me know that you're still listening and you're with me. My future is in my hands. Very good. Ang active naman ni Auntie Diane. My future is in my hands. Juvel, thank you so much. Miss Rochelle, my future is in my hands. Very good. Very good. Let's claim it today, no? Because what we think and we claim today will happen. Okay? We'll make it happen. All right? Very good. My future is in my hands. Very good. Your future is in your hands. You got to make sure that if you want to become wealthy, 
you also need to understand how money works, okay? And again, no one else is going to teach you how money works except yourself, okay? You got to learn how to become your own money manager. And guess what? How do, become, how do you become your own money manager? Well, you got to learn how to, the third um sentence there do it yourself of course img international marketing group will guide you we will teach you okay but at the end of the day you got to learn how to do it yourself we're already in this do it yourself era no so we do not go to a um, an agent for us to book a ticket for a plane ticket no we do it ourselves we go online and then we book our own tickets right? Do it yourself. It's not difficult, right? It may be challenging at first, but so long as we have the right tools and we ask help, of course, it's never going to be that difficult. You got to learn also, please remember, you got to learn how to create a solid financial foundation, okay? Solid financial foundation because that's for yourself and for your family to make sure that you will become wealthy and successful, Remember this again, again, uulit-ulitin ko kahit na magalit kayo sa akin, uulit-ulitin ko to. Your future lies in your very own hands, okay? It's up to you what path you would want to go. All right. Now, what do the wealthy people know that normal people don't know? Are you all ready to learn the key financial concepts and learn how money works? If you are ready, please let me know in the chat box. Say yes. Patype naman dyan ng yes, yes, yes. If ready na ba kayo? All right. Ang bilis ni Jovel. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Ready. Very good. Okay, great. Now, your financial literacy journey starts now. There will be three major concepts. Actually, these three major concepts will either blow your mind away, not literally though, but it will blow your mind away or make you very happy and, and, and really have that sense of um, fulfillment in you upon learning these three major concepts. Okay? Now, when I learned about these concepts, no? When I joined one of these financial literacy sessions, my perception and my mindset towards my finances positively changed in an instant. That's how impactful these learnings are. So before we get moving, I need you to be very comfortable and focused. Look for a good spot in your place right now where you can really focus because I need your full attention for this to work, okay? Again, please go somewhere in your area right now na medyo malakas yung signal for you to be focused. Iwa sa distractions muna, okay? Because I need your full attention. Okay, now I'll introduce the first concept, the X-curve concept. Again, this has nothing to do with your excess, okay? And as you can see there, there are three lines. The red line or the responsibility line, the green line or the money line, and the gray line, which is our timeline. Okay, remember this, as you can see there, one of the most important allies when it comes to saving is time, oras, okay? Because when we are younger, our money line, as you can see there, when we are younger, our money line is low. However, our responsibility line is high. It's because we help our families. We pay for our rent. We buy for our basic needs. We pay for sending our children or siblings to go to school and a lot more responsibilities. Okay, And as you can see, as the money line goes up, the responsibility line goes down. Why? Why does it? have that correlation okay because the more money we have the more challenges you know that that money can solve now what is the significance of the timeline okay our timeline tells us that the younger we start saving the better chances of our money to grow reality check mark it is true it's true that money is not everything but with money, you can help yourself and your family and loved ones. All right? Okay, so this is the X-curve concept. Another reality check. All of us will grow old and eventually die. Okay? No one is exempted. Okay? But when we get there, are we the type of persons who just lets our loved ones suffer with our loss? Or are we the type of persons no, who 
cares for our loved ones the moment that we die. This is a sensitive topic. Yes, I know. But we need to discuss this. Okay? What if we die too soon? The solution there is insurance. Us Filipinos know are so allergic when we hear the word insurance. And I used to be guilty with it. Why? Because we are on the understanding that insurance is for ourselves and that we don't need it just yet. Because that's not our priority at the moment or at the time being. That's a big mistake. Okay? That's a big mistake. Insurance is not for ourselves. It is for our family and loved ones. If we die too soon, who will take care and protect our families for them to move on financially? That is the real reason why we need insurance. And I know if you have an existing insurance right now, let me ask you this. Correct. Thank you, Manny. If you have an existing insurance right now, let me ask you, do you know your policy and coverage? Please, please, please read carefully your policies and you will understand what I am talking about. You might just be paying too much your whole life for a very low coverage, okay? Please, and get back to the person who invited you today. Okay, now what if we live too long? We're lucky enough. No, we're so healthy that we lived too long. The solution there is investment, okay? When we become older, we have to protect ourselves. Meaning, once we are old, we need to have enough funds by that time for us to live and for us to enjoy, okay? Now, mahirap naman kasi mag- tumanda tayo na wala tayong pera. Wala tayong, in, wala tayong ganyan. Ganyan. <laughs> pera. Walang pera. Sup, super mahirap. And, and if you were to ask me, Mark, um, when is the best time to save? Can anyone tell me, no? When is the best time to save? Please, pachat naman sa chat box sa ating um, 20 million viewers. When is the best time to save? Today, thank you, thank you. Napaka-active ni Manny Asto. Yesterday, thank you. Yesterday, the earlier, the better. Thank you, yes. Actually, the best time to save is yesterday. Again, but is it too late, Mark, for us to save today? No. The best time to save is when you still have money. Do we save when we're already old? Do we save when we're already sick? While we are still healthy, we save. While we are still working and earning an income, we save. We have to properly save. Now, does these images look familiar to you? Is it familiar? Familiar ba? Familiar? Yes, on the left, there are seven wonders of the world, as you can see there. Yes, yes, yes. Keith Murphy, thank you. Seven wonders of the world lang muna siya. Okay? And on the right is, of course, the Albert Einstein. So all of you might be wondering, oh, what's the relevance of me showing these images? Actually, I will now be introducing our second concept. Now, does any one of you here heard about the eighth wonder of the world? Especially sa mga new members dyan, sa mga kaka-join lang natin. Um, have you heard of the eighth wonder of the world? Yes, I know it's only seven wonders of the world. But if you try to Google it, no? Albert Einstein said that the eighth wonder of the world is the power of compounding interest or the rule of 72. Now, what is this second concept? Now, this is a formula wherein we can get the number of years it will take for our money to double, okay? If you have a pen and a paper handy with you, you can write this formula. <clears throat> now, in this formula, the number 72, which is always constant, okay, is divided by the interest rate, which will equal the number of years our money will double. Okay, for example, at my age of 29, for the purpose of easy computation, because I'm not good at math, but that's fine. I, let's say I have 1K in my bank right now. And knowing that the interest rates of banks is 0.25%, okay? And I think just recently, may isang bank dito nag, nag email ng it's 0.125%, okay? That's a bad thing, okay? So, but let's just say 1, 1%, okay? When will my 1,000 become 2,000, and at what age? So let's do the math. 72 divided by 1 equals 72. So my 1,000 will become 2,000 after 
72 years. Our one, my 1,000 will become 2,000 after 72 years. And that's what? 72 plus 29. 101 years old. Okay? Wow. That's quite a long time. That is if I'm still alive at that time. And I hope that you now understand why I am not recommending saving in the bank if you want your money to grow. This is really shocking and a bit frustrating at the same time because if, I just, if we just let our money stay in the bank, it will take forever, my forever done, <laughs> it will take forever for it to double and for me to enjoy our remaining years. Again, time is one of the most important allies when it comes to saving. The younger you save, the better. But if you're already, if you think that you're already old enough now, please, it's never too late to save. Save properly. Again, the second concept is the power of compounding interest. This is going to be our friend, especially that we are now aware of how this works, that formula. But if we do not know and understand how compounding interest works, hindi na siya magiging friend, magiging enemy. Kaaway na natin si compounding interest because it also applies to debts. Try to check if some of you might have debts. I have my own utang and I checked it myself. Like literally, it's I parang na rip off ako. Okay, I got a rip off of my money sa utang ko. But again, good thing that I am with IMG right now. I know how money works. Okay. All right. Now let's put it into um, application. Now, in this example, what if I tell you that we have a vehicle that can give us a much higher interest rate compared to banks and co-op? Would you be happy? Sino bang ayo ng higher ng interest rate dito? Wala naman siguro, di ba? Now, in this table, now you can see the different interest rates from four percent to the left side. In the middle, eight percent. And on the right side, 12%. Super happy. Yes, thank you. Now, let's apply the rule of 72. If you have calculators at home, then let's use it. If you don't have, just use your pen and paper handy, okay? Now, in the 4%, no? Focus on the left side. Let's apply the rule of 72. 72 divided by 4 equals 18. So, it will take 18 years for your money to double, okay? Now, Let's say um, in this example, at the age of 20, you have 100,000. It will become 200,000 at the age of 38. 20 plus 18, 38, correct? And let's say you don't need the money, pa, because by that age, 38, you are still strong and healthy. So you decided to let it grow more. Okay, so your 200,000 will become 400,000 when you reach the age of 56. 38 plus 18, 56. Imagine, you only have 100,000 initially, okay? And you let us help you in growing that amount so that when you reach the age of 56, it's now way higher than what you initially have. Is it a good news? Of course, it's a good news. Another good news. Focus your attention in the middle, 8%. So same formula pa rin tayo. 72 divided by 8 equals how many years it will take our money to double? Correct? Nine years. Okay. Now, so when you reach the age of 56, your 100,000 will become 1.6 million. Amazing, hindi ba? It's very possible given that it's on an 8% interest rate. Now, what more is if we have that vehicle no, to turn your money with an interest rate of 12%? Wow. Hindi pa tayo matutuwa? Of course, we will be happy. We should be very happy because it will only take six years. Okay? Six years to double. Okay? To double our money. Now, let's follow the rule of 72. 72 divided by 12 equals six years. So that by the age of 56, your initial money of 100,000 becomes, it's there, 6.4 million pesos. Okay? See the difference, guys? Numbers don't lie. And we do not make up these numbers, no? These are backed up with a formula. You can Google it yourself if you're still not convinced, but I hope that I am convincing enough, okay? But there, the numbers have spoken already. 
Imagine in banks, you get less than um, 1%. In co-ops, I think 3 to 4%. Max is agreeing on 4%. But here, we are showing you possibilities of 4%. 8% and 12%. 4% is already a good deal. 8% is a lot better deal. But 12%, it's a great deal. Okay? So what do you want to do with these amounts? What's your long-term goal? Okay? I want all of you to think of it. Think of your goals as early as now. Write it down if you can. And we will help you make it happen. Okay, So I hope that we understand now no, the power of compounding interest. Again, remember what Albert Einstein mentioned about compounding interest. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Again, Albert Einstein said on compounding interest, he who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. All right. Alay pa ba tayo sa ating mga 21 million viewers? Boy, pa ba tayo dyan? Please, please feel free to let me know if you're still there. All right, very good. Galing, energy, energy. Okay, now before we go to our third and final concept, can any one of you tell me what can you see in this um, slide? Okay, let me know in the chat box. House, house, house. Tama, beautiful house. Okay. Beautiful house, same ng beautiful members natin dito ngayon who are, are, who are our participants. Okay, so yes, tama, tama. Oh, wow, Nova Mercadera, my house after six years. Okay, very good. It's actually a house, one of my dream houses, in fact. A beautifully made house. And no, I am not selling any houses here, okay? I just want to ask, how do we build a house? Do we put the roof first? Or do we install surface flooring or what? So how do we build a house? Anyone? Money as to, okay, ground up, tama, tama. We should start from the house's foundation. And when we say foundation, floor plan first, very good, Cindy. When we say foundation, it must be a solid and strong one, okay? So why is this, why, Mark, why should it be a must to have a solid foundation when building a house, okay? Correct, because we are building our house so that, we have something to protect us and our loved ones from heavy rains, thunderstorms, typhoon, even the scorching heat from the sun, and a lot more. So it is very vital and important to make the foundation of our houses as solid as possible. That being said, I will now introduce our third and final concept, the solid financial foundation. Now, how to build a solid financial foundation? It is built from the ground up just like building your own house. Please take note. You can take a picture of this slide and write these down. Ground up, healthcare, protection, eliminate debts, emergency funds, investment. Again, healthcare, protection, eliminate debts, emergency funds, investment. Now, 90% of the reason for bankruptcy is sickness. That's why the base of our financial foundation should be Proper healthcare and proper protection. Okay? Owning a life insurance. Let's remember this. If we own a life insurance that is not a right, it's not a right but a privilege. Because if you apply for an insurance on a very late age or when you're already old, what happens? You will eventually get denied. Because when we grow old, eventually all of us will grow old. Our bodies will pay for its price for all the long hours that we've worked, overtime and stress at work. If you don't get it now, your family will suffer. And simultaneously, no? Correct, higher premium. Simultaneously, we have to eliminate debts. Debts are like butas at ating financial house, leakages. We buy things that we do not necessarily need. You might tell me, I have money, Mark, and I can afford it. I agree with you. You may have money and you can afford it. Thus, you can buy it. But when will you prepare for your future? In eliminating debts, no? We have other book studies on that. But in a nutshell, for you to eliminate debts, okay, you start by listing all of your debts. Ilista mo lahat ng mga utang mo. Check the ones with the highest interests. And if you have the resource, okay, pay that first. That way, you can slowly address your debts. 
Okay, and the next one is emergency funds. Now, how much do you think do you think should be placed as our emergency fund? Now, some of you might tell me, Sigur, enough na yung one month, three months, correct? Actually, if you're single, you have to have at least three months worth of emergency fund. That's going to be three months worth ng iyong monthly income. If you're married or have a partner, of course, dalawa kayo, so double. So, again, in, right in this pandemic, no, um, it started March okay, here in the Philippines. And it's already August. That's five months now. So if you can have more than three months worth of your monthly income placed as your emergency funds, then you are in a better position. Okay. And last would be investment. Now, investment is very tempting. Napaka tempting niya. And most of us likes to invest. Okay. I, for one, again, I'm guilty on this. Now, when I joined, I when I joined these um, classes, no, I'm very interested with investment. Okay, I wanted to invest my money right there and then because it has great returns. Without me thinking, without me clearly thinking, what's going to happen if I get sick? If a family member gets sick, do we just let them be? If a loved one or a family member dies, what am I going to do? Of course. I will be forced to withdraw whatever investments I have since I need to help out myself and my family get through that very difficult time. Now, this defeats the purpose of investments. The purpose of investment is for us to have something that we can enjoy in the long run when we retire and grow old. Okay, so we should not be easily tempted, no, with investment. Okay, if we do not have a solid financial foundation. Okay, I have witnessed no, a lot of people who are forced to withdraw their investments because they need that money for their family who has an illness. Okay, and to some, they were forced to withdraw their investment because they themselves are sick. They did not build the proper solid financial foundation. Again, it's a sad reality. But can we blame them? No, we should not blame them because no one, no one taught them to have that solid financial foundation. Okay? Please pa chat naman sa chat box natin. Solid financial foundation if you agree that we have to build it from ground up. Solid financial foundation. Pa chat naman if you're still with me. Thank you. 21 million viewers Jan, Salamat, salamat. Si Miss Diane, solid financial foundation. Cesar, solid financial foundation. Okay. How about the rest? We have to build a solid financial foundation. Very good, Cindy. Very good. Okay. All right. So again, this is actually the front cover of our book, no? The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. Okay. There is saving the right way and saving the left way, just kidding. <laughs> saving the right way and saving the wrong way. Okay. Now, uh, let's... Okay. Now, where do we need to invest? Okay. When we say investment, now, first thing that comes to our mind is stock market. So, we have two types of investment. The solid and liquid investment. Now, solid investments are your condominium units, jewelry, car, and a lot more that are tangible. Okay? Yung mga nakikita at saka nafe-feel natin. Okay? While liquid investments, these are stock market and mutual funds. Now, any one of you here who likes to eat at Jollibee, any one of you here who frequently goes to SM right now, na medyo na lift na parang GCQ na tayo dito sa Cebu City, who frequently goes to SM or Ayala every weekend, and do you want to be a shareholder of these established companies? If your answer is yes, I know that your answer is going to be yes, okay? Then you are on the right track. You, you are, you are um, good that you joined today's session. Now, stock market is challenging because we need to learn how to do it and give enough time to understand okay, it better. Understanding the stock market better. Now, in stock market, it is you who is responsible for your money as your investment. And if you do not have the knowledge and experience, most likely, we will fail. But if you're the person who, just like myself, okay, who still wants to invest and does not have enough expertise on stock market, the best option no, I would recommend is investing in mutual funds. Because mutual funds, meron silang experienced na fund manager na nagpupool 
lahat ng pera natin, then invests those to companies in mutual funds. In fact, you can invest for as low as 1,000, whereas in, in stock market, there's a minimum number of shares that, needs, that you need to purchase. Okay? So again, we have a separate session on stock market and mutual funds, and hopefully you get to join IMG and join us in these unlimited and amazing learnings. No? Okay, now emergency fund, as mentioned earlier, that's going to be at least three to six months deposited in your banks. Okay, now why do we need emergency funds? Just like our current situation, we have this pandemic. No one actually, no one is prepared for this. I have witnessed a lot of people, okay, who are afraid of this pandemic primarily because of their fear that if they lose their jobs, they do not have emergency funds. That's why having an emergency fund is very important in our financial house. Okay. Now, next, eliminate debts. Again, ilista natin mga utang natin because it's different when we have that visibility on our debts. So it would be easier for us to keep track of it. Okay. Again, pay first, pay off first those na may malalaking interest and eventually, pay off mo lahat ng utang mo. Because why? Why, why, no? Why do we need to eliminate debts? Because debts or utang hinders us from building our emergency funds and slows us in investing. So long as may mga utang tayo, mahihirapan at mahihirapan tayong i-build ang ating emergency fund and if we have plans of investing. Kaya nga, ground up tayo, di ba? Okay. Now, life protection. Do you know about life insurance? Is this taught in school? Life insurance is, okay, thank you, thank you, Sheila May. Life insurance is protection, okay? Do we need life insurance for life? Yes? No? Maybe? No? Big no from Miss Rochelle, tama. Is life insurance for yourself? Okay, no, okay. Life insurance is vital, no? Especially if you are the breadwinner of your family. Because this serves as a protection. Because while we are building our wealth, our financial house, okay, we, while we are building that financial house, if something bad happens to us, our fami family will be able to get through financially without us because they will get an ample amount as our beneficiaries if we are gone. Okay. Now, healthcare naman tayo. There are three types of healthcare. Short-term, Senior care and long-term. Now, short-term care or healthcare are our HMOs like MaxiCare, IntelliCare, Asian Life, and other HMOs. These are very helpful for now while we are still working. But what happens if we leave our organization? Can we tell our employers, na, um, na, hey, I want to bring the, my HMO with me since I spent more time of my life working in the company. And I've been a very hard-working employee, so I want to take these HMO with me. Can we do that? You can try, but trust me, your, your employees will not allow you to do that, okay? We cannot bring our HMO with us the moment that we resign from our jobs. The second one is senior care, okay? This is designed for our senior citizens, 60 years old and above, okay? This is a type of healthcare that is much costly. Medyo mahal, may kamahalan siya, and this is renewed annually, okay? And since niri renew siya yearly, malaki ang chance na madedenay kayo when you apply for that senior care because when we're older, okay, that the time that's the time when we are vulnerable and easily get sick and other illnesses, okay, pre-existing tama most companies talaga hindi na siya kina cover, okay, and the third type of healthcare is long-term healthcare and this is the most recommended for us starters because it already has healthcare. My healthcare na, my protection na, my investment pa. San ka pa? Alright, again, third one is the most recommended one, long-term healthcare. My healthcare na, my protection na, my investment pa. Again, let's ask ourselves, no? What if we die too soon? Who will take care of our families and loved ones? And healthcare, again, Again, remember the, fin the solid financial foundation. Healthcare is the very foundation of our financial house. Let's remember health is wealth because we will never know what will happen tomorrow. We're not fortune tellers, okay? So health is wealth. And at this point, no, I will now show you another interesting video.
Kahit ano man ang estado natin sa buhay, we keep working. But we keep forgetting. We seem to forget that health is the real wealth. Kasi you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Ang mas nangangailangan yung mga lalong nahihirapan. Kung kaya naman nilang maghulog ng paunti-unti, basta meron kanyang may protection ka. Kasi baka yung kinikita mo hindi sapat sa pambili ng gamot. Marami nakakasakit, mga anak, di ba? O ikaw mismo. Lalo kung ikaw yung breadwinner. Nagkatrabaho ka para sa pamilya mo. Tapos bigla ka nagkasakit. Paano na yung pamilya mo? At kahit nga anong estado, it's one thing off your list ng aalalahanin kahit ako di ba so, that's why it's important to have it kasama ko ang Kaiser kahit maputi na ang buhok ko may Kaiser health card ka na ba? Sharon Cuneta po para sa Kaiser alright Mark Torniado po para sa Kaiser okay alright para naglag yung screen ko. All right. Now, healthcare protection and investment, three major financial needs. Again, remember natin always ha, health is wealth regardless of what your status in life is. That is why I would strongly recommend for starters to have healthcare protection and investment. Now, what if I tell you that we we ha what if I tell you, you know that we'll get to address th these three major financial needs in one go? Would you care and give it a thought? Yes. Tama, tama. Hello? Anjan pa ba? <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Yes, yes. Yes, anjan pa ba yung iba? 21 million viewers natin. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now, again, IMG is a community, no? We do not have any products, but we have established partnerships that IMG screened carefully. I even had my own three-in-one and I do not want to commit the sin of the desert. So that's why I'm sharing, I'm here sharing what I have learned. Okay, are you all excited? Excited ba lahat? Okay, now let's learn about this. I'm proud to introduce to you the Kaiser 3-in-1 Savings Program. Now, this is a long-term healthcare. Again, long-term, ha? Remember, long-term healthcare, insurance, and investment. This is not a lifetime, but long-term. My difference yung dalawang yun, okay? And only IMG is authorized and licensed to broker and introduce Kaiser to the market. No one else. Walang iba si IMG lang. If only I had known that we have such thing as Kaiser 3-in-1 back then, I would have immediately grabbed that opportunity. But again, today is never too late. Okay? Now, how does this work, Mark? Simple. You pay for seven years. Once you have finished paying for seven years, Kaiser will issue a certificate of full payment. Then you wait for another 13 years until it matures. So the younger you are to start no, with Kaiser 3-in-1, the better. And if you are young at heart, again, it's never too late as well. Now, in this table, we are getting as an example at the age of 22 and has a K100 plan with, an, with 58,821 annual installment amount. Do not be surprised or afraid of this amount. Again, this is for book study purposes only. Reach out to the person who invited you today so that he or she can discuss in details your personalized, your customized uh, plan that would meet your need. Okay? The good thing with Kaiser no, is you have the option to go on a monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, and annual payment terms. And if you have, if you go with the annual payment terms, you will save two months worth of payment, okay? If we compare it with the monthly payment term. Now, in this example, the K100 plan has a monthly payment of 5,882. We multiply that to 12 months, so it's equal to 70,584. I prepared. <laughs> so in this example, no, where we chose the annual installment amount of 58,820, this means na may dalawang buwan tayong savings or equivalent to 11,764. Two months worth din yan. And that's already a good deal. So if you have the money right now, better yet, opt for the annual installment plan. But whichever plan or payment terms you will choose, it's you who decides. Again, you are in control of your own future. You are your own money manager. Okay, and aside from annual physical exam, dental benefits, and more, another great deal if you go with Kaiser 3-in-1 is the waiver. 
Anjan sa number 6 and 7. Waiver of installment due to the death of policyholder. If something happens to me as a policyholder, what will happen to my policy? It will be paid in full. Tama. It will be paid in full. And if it's because of an accident, the life insurance will double. Okay? It will double and will be transferred to your beneficiary good as paid. Okay? Also, I love the family assistance service here. But again, this is subject for Kaiser approval. All right. Okay. In this slide, no? You can see that once you've already paid your Kaiser after seven years, mabilis lang yung seven years. I have been working for almost 10 years now. If I have known about this, sana tapos na ako. But again, it's never too late today. You will just need to wait. Actually, after seven years, you just need to wait for it to mature. Okay, wala ka nang babayaran after seven years. Hintay-hintay lang. Enjoy. Continue. Continue what you're doing good right now. Again, note that the investment in Kaiser will not necessarily make you rich. Because this is for you to not have difficulty when you grow old. May iba tayong investment which later on you would know. Okay? And for me, no, one of the things that I love about Kaiser is that once you have fully paid your policy, okay, take a look at num the, wala na number, take a look at the one that says pre-existing illness as mentioned kanina ni, um, ni Manny. Pre-existing illnesses and critical illnesses are covered, okay? Af from the eighth year onwards. Magandang deal ba yan? Of course, it is a great deal. Okay, so we've learned about these three concepts na no? The X-curve concept, the rule of 72, which allows us to understand kung how many years our money will grow and will double, by the way. And of course, our solid financial foundation. Remember ha, solid financial foundation. We built that from ground up. Okay, that's gonna be healthcare, protection, eliminate debts, emergency fund, and investment. Okay. Now, I want to thank you all no, for finding time in attending today's session. Now, we spent so many years in school, 14 to 16 years, okay, to, for us to really um, have our jobs right now. Now, education without application. Remember this, education without application is purely entertainment. No matter how much we learn and understand, but if we are not putting these learnings into actions, we will never be financially free. Again, your future lies in your very own hands. It's up to you what path you would want to go. That's why application part is as equally important as learning. So, meron na tayong learning right now. Now, application na lang. Ang kulang. Okay. Now, if you didn't like financial education, okay, if, if you're someone who who prefers to spend rather than save. If you think of your children as your retirement fund, okay? And if you're too scared to make sacrifices now, counting sacrifices lang for you to enjoy at a latter part, I will not encourage you to join IMG. But if you are like me, who, 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 who's willing to do sacrifices, little sacrifices for my future self to thank me for, then I would encourage you to join IMG, our growing community. Again, IMG is a community, a community of people with a mission of helping create wealth for families and making that difference for families so that no family will be left behind. And for a community to sustain itself and its mission, it needs to have members. And when you become part of International Marketing Group, you will get to experience more benefits, okay, 35 to be exact and growing pa siya as years pass by. I'll just focus on the ones that I personally like, okay? You will have a lifetime access to financial education classes like these, okay? More learnings, better understanding, which will result to guided decisions, okay? You'll also have 100,000 personal accident insurance, 50,000 memorial benefits. Now, for those of you who have St. Peter's, no? Who are paying 800 per month for five straight years, that's gonna be equal to 40. 8,000. Again, I came prepared because I'm not good at math. This is a really good deal because you only need to pay a one-time payment, okay? And you are also eligible for a free eye checkup and get two free frames, two free frames per year when you purchase the lens at IMG's Vision Care Partner, which is Delos Reyes Optical Clinic. 
Also, you will have 1,000 initial investment for mutual funds account once you become an IMG member. Again, once you're part of our IMG community, there will be no more joining fees. If you want to invest in stock market and mutual funds, you'll get the full amount of your investment. Okay, and of course, discounts on car purchases, car insurances, property purchases, and a lot more because IMG again has established partnerships already. Okay, remember lang natin yan. Now, how much? Okay, for only 6,000 pesos, this is a one time membership fee. You get access to all these practical benefits and get huge savings. For me, this is a fair and reasonable enough amount as a membership fee, given, given all the list of benefits that we will get once we become IMG members. I know now that you would also want to get yourself protected and have the Kaiser 3-in-1 again. Because again, we know that health is wealth and we have to get proper protection and health care. That is why we have this associate membership. Okay, so associate membership, this is for only 12,382 pesos, you get to be protected with our K100 plan. Again, we have other lower or higher plan. Plus, you get to be a part of our IMG growing community. Okay, now on top of what I have mentioned earlier, you will also have 1 million peso personal accident insurance, 500,000 memorial benefits, 1.1 million retirement and healthcare funds. Wow, lucky none. And if you want to do the business side of IMG, you get to share and educate people on our mission of helping create wealth and making difference for families. Again, hindi po networking company si IMG, okay? Because if someone becomes a member of IMG, we do not earn anything about on, from them. And if someone understood, no, if someone understood the importance of getting healthcare and protection, and they get the Kaiser three in one, after you have shared your learnings, you will be rewarded with a commission. Kumbaga, mission first, commission to follow. Okay, now main goal natin dito is not really just to sell, sell, sell. But we have to educate and we help people understand the need for building that solid financial foundation. Okay, we should share this to our families and friends. We should not be selfish. Again, we should never commit the sin of the desert. Okay, so again, um, you talk to the person who invited you today. Sorry if we na medyo na... Um, na we went beyond our time today. But again, I hope that you all learn and um, you all learn great things today and we put into actions what we have learned today. Again, thank you so much and be counted. No, be counted for our 30M by 30 financial literacy campaign. Go back to the person who invited you today. Give your email addresses and your personal contact numbers. Okay, and be counted. All right. And of course, um, welcome in advance to our IMG growing community. Again, my name is Mark and feel free to contact me and allow me to end this by asking you one question. You have two choices in life. Sacrifice now and enjoy later. Enjoy now and suffer later. Where do you see yourself in your retirement year? Thank you so much and you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.